This is Big Dan Eats New York, and I'm Big Dan. I'm a food connoisseur originally from the rural area of Tennessee, and I'm living in the Big Apple, and we're eating New York City. Uh, I search out the uh, out-of-the-way places. You may have driven by and never noticed them before. I go there, eat their food, do an honest review, so that you'll know whether you want to eat these spots also. Tonight, we're in uh, Mummerick, New York, which is just north of uh, the Bronx. We've got to hurry up because they're about to close. We're at Walter's Hot Dog Stand. Let's go see what Walter has on the menu for us. Now we're sitting in front of Walter's Hot Dog Stand in what town? Mamaroneck. Mamaroneck. My Marinick. My Marinick. Yeah. This is Christine <laughs> uh, Walter Warrington that was the original founder. He's gone now, but we have his great granddaughter here, Christine, and she's going to tell us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about the business, how long it's been in. Well, we've been in business 99 years now. We'll be uh, 100 next summer. We'll be having a big celebration. You'll have to come out. Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Hot dog eating contest and all that kind of fun stuff. <laughs> But uh, the original location was on Boston Post Road. It was just a little wooden shack. And then in 1928, he, uh, he bought this property and he built this, this, this building, which is quite interesting. He built it as a Chinese pagoda to just attract attention. Uh, the roof's made of copper, so now Ox does. But, uh, so it's lasted a long it's lasted time. It's 99 yeah. years. Oh. We're actually a historic landmark. Oh wow! Yeah, the little plaque's right, right behind us over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, besides you, besides this location, did you tell me that you have some others? We do. We opened a couple of years ago in Stamford, Harbor Point. Uh, we also opened, actually, just this August, in White Plains. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have our two trucks that go around to parties and events. So three is, they would say, brick and motor locations, mm -hmm. and then two food trucks that, and they do catering and special yeah, occasions. Do they don't really, parties, not really a food truck. Yeah, like, never really parked on yeah, the street Yeah, vendor, not, not, not street vendor food, not, right. not that thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, let me ask you, I'm going to order something here. What would you recommend for me? Well, you definitely have to have a classic with the mustard. We've nope. actually got Bavarian pretzel dogs right now, which are excellent on the pretzel rolls. Definitely get our extra mustard. It's our own recipe, you know. Um, we make all the ice cream and Italian ices as well. They're all homemade. So, really? Uh, I'd go with the shake, possibly, if you're in the mood for that. We do a, a old-fashioned soda fountain. So we've got root beer oh. floats. We've got anything you could come up with, egg creams. So I'd heard a little bit about this. I, um, the hot dog is not, it's not served uh, whole, right? It's split in yeah, half. Split open and grilled in our secret sauce. Your great, your great granddad started that? Great split, granddad yeah. started that. It's our own recipe. That we Same recipe for, well, 99 years now. Oh, really? We make, it's our own mustard as well. Yeah, I and her so all, does all the, the ice cream, all the Italian ices, our own recipes. Okay. Does the does the mustard that is Walter's mustard does that go back originally, or did he come up? Did someone come up with that a little bit later on? No, he came up with that originally. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, that's very interesting. So, anyway, thank you for being on Big Dan Eats New York, and uh, so now we're going to eat some of Walter's hot dogs. By her recommendation, we'll see how what our review is on that. <laughs> thank uh -oh. you, Christine. Thank appreciate you. that. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> from uh, Walter's hot dog stand and per Christine's recommendation I want a regular single that you call it and then a pretzel dog and what'd you say uh, I want it well I get the mustard at the end right so I want to taste the, the dog first and then I'll put the mustard on down there but I absolutely want want to make sure that See, they have their own, this is their own special recipe. This is not off the, off the shelf or anything. So I want to make sure that I get that on there. But I want the regular, and you guys, uh, you want a banana? You want a banana ice cream? And ice cream or a shake? Shake, banana shake.
Okay, so I ordered a regular dog and then the pretzel dog. And I ordered it without the mustard because I want to see I want to see how this hot dog tastes. You see that it's very unique, split in half. Christine, the great granddaughter, said that that's what her uh, great grandfather, the way he originally served them. So, and the uh, bun, you see, it's toasted, it's not steamed, which is um, steam bun is is what you'll probably get in the south. This this bun's toasted. So let's let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. As I'm biting through that. Mm. The bun, hot. It's been grilled. It's a little crunchy. Could hear that. She also told us that this hot dog is their own blend, made only for them. The grill flavor comes through, and the the brown on the bun comes through. I think that's a natural casing. Let me try this. Yeah. It's a natural casing hot dog. It's really good. Mm. It's almost got a crispiness to it, but not in a bad way. Dog's really good. Let's try this pretzel. So it's the same dog, but on a pretzel bun. Uh -huh. There it is. Can you can you see the the toast, the brown on the hot dog, and the bun also really adds a dimension of flavor to it. Mmm. That bun tastes a little bit like a donut. You call it a pretzel bun or a pretzel dog, but it's got a. Hmm? I can smell it. Mm. Mm. It tastes more like a donut. It's been cut in half rather than a pretzel. That is really good. Mm. Mm. So, these two dogs all the ice creams were made in house. This is a banana shake. I've also got a chocolate shake I'll try in just a moment. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you what that reminds me of. It reminds me of summer picnics in Tennessee when we made homemade ice cream. Banana, always. That's what that tastes like. So look, the salty dog and the sweet shake is a fantastic combination. It's worth the drive to any of their locations. That's good. Let me try the let me try the chocolate one. Mm. Chocolatey, thick. By the way, Christine told us you can get. We ordered these regular, these milkshakes regular, and it's regular thickness. They've got a another thickness they call cowboy, which means that the straw should stand up in it. Either one of these, the straw will stand up in it. So if you got the cowboy dog be difficult to pull up through the straws that thick but you can tell these are homemade ice creams really super sweet and fresh magnificent now do we have time John I'm gonna get put some mustard on so 
So I tried it without the mustard. Let's put some of their special mustard on it. Looks a little bit like Dijon, I think. Let's see what that tastes like. Mm. Mm. That's Dijon mustard with pickle relish. Ooh, got that up my head. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Here's my review. Walter's hot dog stand is worth the drive. I can give it 9.9 .9 out of 10. There we go. That's my review. That's my review of Walter's hot dog stand in Mummerick, New York, just north of the Bronx. Uh, really, really fantastic hot dog. As I said, everything fresh, made here on site daily. So make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And then in the comments below, let me know where you would like to see Big Dan Eat New York next. If you have, if you've heard of a spot or if you want a particular kind of food, put it in the comment section. I'll I read and reply to all of those. Let me know. And then next time, it may be your location where Big Dan Eats New York. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so